Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sip's Techie Tips. And my videos vary widely in subject matter. And uh, sometimes it's music, sometimes it's uh, electronics, sometimes it's sewing. A couple of years ago, I made uh, a video about the sewing machine. It's a Bernina Record Model 830. And the video is doing quite well. A lot of people have enjoyed it and found the information useful. Because when I bought the machine, it wasn't working very well. And I had to figure out how to adjust the timing. And I wanted to share that with other people. So today, we're going to use the machine. <laughs> so I want to show you how to make a tool roll. That's what I call it. And it's a piece of cloth. Like this. And it's got uh, pockets. And the pockets are made to hold different things. Like... It holds wrenches over here. I got four wrenches. Then I have a couple of uh, carving tools and a couple of small screwdrivers, a um, uh, compass, and a caliper, and a pencil. And the pouches are made specifically. This one's a little bit more general. It's larger than the others. And uh, if you don't, you have these in here. If you don't use a compass and a and a uh, caliper, you know, you can put uh, a glue stick, erasers, pencil sharpeners, maybe a small notepad, things like that. The idea is that, that you uh, flip the flap <laughs> over, and that helps keep the tools from falling out. And you roll it up, and uh, then you, you can tie it with a, a, a string or a shoelace, and then you can store it away. All your tools together. Next time you want, you need them. You can just pull them out. You can keep, uh, maybe keep uh, special tools in your car, that that'll in case you have an emergency, or maybe you can fill it all uh, with uh, carving tools, and you can have your whole set ready to go when you're going to do some carving, things like that. But before we do that, I want to thank everybody who's been watching the videos, especially subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe and if you want to be notified of each new video remember click on the bell so let's get started to make this project you're going to need a piece of cloth and the cloth needs to be 17 by 15 and uh, when you look at it it looks square so if you forget which is the long side you can fold it diagonally and you'll see that one side is longer than the other so the long side is 17, the short sides are 15. And the short sides, those are going to be the sides. The 17 is going to be the top and the bottom. So this is my Bernina uh, 830 record. And it's a, quite an old machine. It is probably from around um, 1985 or so, mid 80s. So that would make it well over 30 years old. Now, to do my rolled hem or rolled edge, I fold it over about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more, and then fold it a second time. And then I put this in under the foot, but I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna start about a half inch in because I'm gonna fold it over and, uh, I, and that's the easiest way for me to do it. Then I do the same over here, fold it over about a, a little bit over a quarter inch Make sure it's tucked in there nicely. And then uh, my settings, it's on straight stitch, so it's zero on the zigzag, zero. And then a step of about uh, 2.5. And then I'm going to start slow. I'm not going to lock the stitch because I know other um, fabrics it could roll over it. So I don't need to do that. Okay, again. Fold it over about a quarter inch or so. Fold it again. Make sure it's tucked in there proper and flat. Okay. So again, fold and tuck. Flatten it. Now, if you have a iron <laughs> a handy, then you can actually fold it, iron it, fold it iron it and you get a much straighter nicer looking edge 
and on this edge too, tuck it, fold it, but I'm only going to stitch up to about a half inch on the edge. Alright, and, and we'll pull it up, pull it out, and I usually leave my threads about five or six inches long, and that's my, my rolled hem. And it, this is and this is a uh, a guy project, so it doesn't have to be all that nice and fancy and neat. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other uh, three sides. So again, on this side here, well, I'm going to go do the opposite side over here now. And I'm gonna, again fold it over about a quarter of an inch. Fold it over again. Fold it over about a quarter. I'm going to fold this over about a quarter inch. Fold it over again. Stick it under the foot. Almost half an inch from the edge. Tuck it. Fold it. Flatten it. Go again. doesn't take very long to do at all. These little threads, I'll cut them off later. Okay, okay so that's two edges done. Now, I'm going to do one more edge over here. Now, um, one will be done the normal way, and the other one will be done slightly differently. And I usually just these, use these little clippers here, hold them together, and cut the corner diagonally. Cut this other corner the same diagonally. Trim off any, any uh, loose threads. And we'll start again, fold it a quarter inch, roll it over, stick that under the needle, under the foot, like about that, and I always start in a little bit and then go backward and then forward and that locks the stitch and uh, it uh, works better for me. All right. So I'm going to start by going backward. And then go forward. And this is pretty easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, it gets really easy to do. And I stitch, oh, maybe a sixteenth, eighth of an inch from the edge at the most. And then down, when I get here, I'm going to go forward, go backward, to lock the stitch. And there's some basic rules of sewing, and that is that you don't show any unfinished edges. Now, this is the last one to do over here. And again, clip the edges, the, the corners. Okay. And on this one, because this is going to be a... Um, going to be folded over. I don't need to roll it and I don't want to make it any thicker than it needs to be. So I just fold it over about a closer to three eighths I guess than a quarter inch but that's all right. And then I'm going to set my zigzag to about uh, two and a half on the width and I'm going to set it to a little bit less than one on the um, 
on the step. And what I want to do is kind of bind this edge. And then run it backward a little bit. Again, fold it over. And I'm sewing so I can get one, the left side of the needle off the material and the right side on this side of the material so it binds it. loose threads but I'll try to pick them up as I go. Okay so I'm going to sew off the edge and then come back. didn't pick it up very well so we'll do that again. I'm gonna place it under there. Pick it up where I sewed last. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. I'm gonna pull this a little tighter. backward a little bit to lock the stitch and that's a lot better. Alright so that takes care of the binding out here all the way around and so this one is stitched with just a, a zigzag across there the other side looks like that and I'm using a, a gray thread I don't know if that I hope that picks up well Okay, and now we'll we'll do the uh, some of the folds. I have um, sewed three edges with the with the rolled edge and one edge with just a zigzag. Now this is going to become the little uh, individual pouches for my items, and I fold that over three inches. I've got this old rinky dinky uh, ruler, and I have to count my inches on it. One, two, three. And um, I do that, and now I'm going to sew that down with a zigzag stitch. Again, my zigzag is set at uh, a width of two and a half and a step of less than a little bit less than one. And I start here. I'm going to go backward first, and then forward. And backward to lock the stitch. Like that. On the other end, on the other end I will do the same. I'll fold it over. I want it to be three inches. And still need some more. Three inches, so it'll be parallel across. Uh, that's better. And it doesn't matter which direction I go, so I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to try to be like in the center of that seam, of that. Um, and I'm going to start backward, so to the edge. Then so forward, go up. That's it. Let's see what we can do now. I'm going to sew up to the top edge and then backward to lock the stitch. So I had a little bit of trouble there. Sometimes it, it gets the 
fabric gets pulled in there and it doesn't want to advance. So this little pouch here becomes the uh, the holder for the for tools or whatever I'm going to put in there, pencils, pens. And I've got a lot of little wrenches and things, so I can make this one for wrenches. Okay. So I normally make these <laughs> about an inch or an inch and a quarter, sometimes as big as an inch and a half. And um, so I'm going to set this over here and put one in here. And I can measure across there that from that from this seam, from that set of stitches to about here would be an inch and a half. Okay, about an inch and a half. We'll go with an inch and a half. Or maybe an inch and a quarter. <laughs> so put it up here. I'm gonna do my inch and three eighths. I'll settle on three eighths. Okay. And the end of the ruler is here. So I'm gonna start on the seam. I'm gonna go backward to the edge and down. And I gotta stitch parallel, so and I leave I only come down to about a, within a quarter inch of the bottom. Go backward a little bit to lock the stitch, and I'm done. And that's how you, how you make the individual pouches for each tool. Okay. So I finished my uh, six pouches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And on the other end, I want to make some pouches for pencils. So on this end, I want to make one for a pencil and I want it to fit tight so I can have uh, other things. And so this is where I would need to be for a, a pencil. And that would be right about a little bit less than an inch. Okay. So, let me make that one. And I'm going to put my material, my fabric over here. Put it down. And so that's a little bit less than an inch. It's about seven-eighths of an inch. Alright. And I'm still on my zigzag two and a half, and my step is less than one. I'm going to start by going backward, then go forward, stay parallel, and that will be my pencil pouch. So when I put my pencil in here, It'll fit nice and snug. These are pretty good size and it looks like they'll work good for wrenches. And uh, I have some carving tools. I can put carving tools that will work fine also. Of course carving <laughs> tools are, are sharp so you need to make it out of vinyl or something so they don't cut all the way through. All right. And here is a, uh, a little extension. And put that in there as uh, a toothbrush <laughs> so you can put all kinds of all kinds of neat stuff in them to, to keep them together now the the next this pouch this one over here this one over here is really really large and I usually make a large one for uh, so you can put a notebook or an index card or or things like that the, the last thing to do really after you got all your pouches made, you have to make it so it folds over. And that fold, to fold it over, needs to be right about, also right about the three inch line. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna measure down 
Make sure I'm on um, three inches. Hey, that's pretty darn close. Very close. And for this edge, so that it always foot stitches in the same place, I'm going to go back to straight stitch, change my length to like two and a half. I'm going to stitch about an eighth of an inch from the fold. And again, I'm going to go forward and back. All right. This this other this other edge I'll also um, fold it for three inches. For three inches, that should be good. Right there. I'll run my my edge down. Kind of fold it there with my crease it with my uh, fingers. Try to stay as parallel as I can. Then back stitch it to lock the stitch. And that should do it. pretty good there and so now I can put my tools in here put my tools in here if I had some small screwdrivers I could make some more uh, pockets for uh, screwdrivers and a little extension in there uh, put this one carving knife in here and we'll put the the pencil over here and the idea is that you take this you fold in the same place every time you can roll these up and then you can store it away put it in your car if you need one for emergencies and I think that works pretty good so here's my final tool roll and um, flip it over you can see my tools in there I've got like four wrenches and I have uh, two carving knives two screwdrivers and uh, so I added two more small pouches or pockets and then that made this uh, pocket a little bit smaller but it's got enough room for uh, a uh, compass and a divider or a caliper and my pencil and uh, that works pretty good for me and you can do all kinds of things with this you can make all of these smaller and you can use coloring pencils and markers and you know use a pocket you know for a drawing pad and uh, I think it turned out pretty good and you should give it a try well thank you so much for watching the video I hope you found the information useful and uh, if you can give me a thumbs up if you did and if not, you can give me a thumbs down. That's okay, too. And if you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe. And if you want to be notified of each new video, click on the bell. So until next time, take care.